if you want to get to um, uh, eagle rocks, eagle cliffs, uh, a Gursky waterfall and uh, Prometheus and Chain statue, then you need to get to uh, bus stop New Matesta. From there you can get a cap and it will take you up to the hill. So you can drive there instead of walking there. You will pay for an entrance 150 rubles, 2.5 dollars per person at the moment. And you need uh, good sleepers because they are kind of a rock and they're slippery. So enjoy your walk and don't forget go to Russia, subscribe our channel, press the heart button and stay with us. Right after the, the entrance station, you're going inside. I'm about to get to the first viewpoint within a few seconds of walking from the car, drop us off. And there are my friends, my girlfriend Ponka and my friend Artem and his girlfriend Evelina. This is your map with this metal thing. It'll take you straight to the restaurant and later I will give you all the instructions how to get down to the waterfall. We've made a photo station for 20 minutes. There is a line for the photos behind me. You can see it, I think, right now. And we keep on going up and then there will be a restaurant. That is your checkpoint. tired but not too much and you can take something with you and sit here because you pay for the main entrance and that's the same kind of complex and there is a Prometheus and chain statue you will receive a card when you pay for an entrance and here in the bar you can change this card for a discount if you're hungry you can have a meal here for five six dollars portion don't forget before you're starting your meal, make some photos <laughs> for Instagram. So we're done with the food and now we keep on going and basically we'll go further territory of the restaurant on the cliff over there to the people and then we'll get lower and lower and in the end our goal is to get ourselves over there. So here at the signs, choose the right one. Over there is a water closet if you need it, over there. And we are going this way. And again, we are on the go. Again, restaurant is behind us. You keep on walking, so the eclipse is on the right here side. Careful, last time we've been here, we stepped onto a snake. It's not the dangerous one, but it bites quite painfully and you'll get a little bit sickness. Really a bear sometimes, raccoons can stole your bag if you left it. So it's uh, about time for me to say, subscribe our channel, press the heart button, the bell maybe, and make some activities in commentary section. So walking down, it's about 15 minutes on the road like this and then there will be a turn on the right on the river i'll also show it to you hello doggy so here we are here a good place to have a five minute break and have a little bit of rest Now we'll go on, on, the, on the side, on the river, and if you go this direction, up on the hills, you will get to the Ahun mountain. But you can also get there by cab, and I think it's better still to keep on our track. And next time, if you want to, you can go to Ahun. I'm not going there with the video, so it's just up to you. 
and there is a 600 meters tall plus um, sightning wheel you know the attraction uh, 75 I think meters so the view is just amazing from a point of 600.1 meter uh, from the sea level we keep on going so I'll show you the the way so going back so we came from that hill and if you're coming from downstairs so you need to go up there but I think you do the same way with us so you did take a cap to, to the top and now you need to go this way follow the ponca again we are returning on a road of stones but it's not for long maybe 50 more meters and then there will be a more comfortable way for you and three more wonderful views and i will show you and give you instructions how to get to all of them but to be honest now if you will if you'll go on your own you won't be able to miss it maybe just one and but i'll show you all of them and dog decided to follow us thank you isn't that beautiful so that's the second place a rock walking episode so uh, believe me you should go for it and here some rocks are shaking so be careful watch your step and don't try to run kind of be ready to grab some other big stone with the hand because the big stones mostly not shaking you know it i think on your own some of them could be sleepy so as always be careful while you climbing on the rocks because it can fall and it can be painful and even dangerous oh that's a very sleepy stone now and later we keep on walking again on the right side like Ponke they did doing it right now so we start moving and now we're heading to our next pit stop I'll show you it it's still not my favorite place here so at the moment we're walking for two hours the whole trip with the stops with the photos with the taking food I think it's about four hours so it's better to start not later than 12 and finish it up not later than four because when the sun goes down it's getting really dark here and now the starts a stairs it's becoming more easier and easier to move on and you can see the waterfall now today is November November 12 uh, maybe this video will came up only in in April I don't know but in November there is no rare rains for a few weeks and uh, the waterfalls get mm, very very poor usually it's much more bigger water in the river in the waterfalls but we have to be here in season we are not from a waterfall keep on walking in the same direction there will be a stairs all the time and in 10 minutes you'll get to the next stop and there i will be showing you why i'm calling this place my favorite on the planet all right dog is back Maybe if you get lucky, you'll see that dog right here and it will guide you. Of course, it was in summer period, there was a lot of water and there was a waterfall right here in this dome. Kind of a bath. You can see it on the other side of the, of the canyon. Mm -hmm. Nice job. They made it. In summer period, this canyon is a little bit more with the water and the water is very clean same temperature same cold but clean so it's comfortable to get in and you can see the bottom so it's easier to put your feet on you know being sure on your way you're stepping and there in the end of the canyon a big natural swimming pool so beautiful and amazing go to Russia oi oi once you've be here go that direction be careful but do it and the second thing to do i wish i would be able to do it right now but it's just no water because it going flows right here it flows all the way to this kind of the bath okay and going down right here it's waterfall 
you can all the people standing right there and see this waterfall from the bottom and you can lay down here like in a jacuzzi and the view is amazing first of all you can see the the lake and if you pull your eyes up wonderful so this is my favorite place in the world but at the moment it's lost its shape a little bit so even better because when you came here you'll find it in a, in a better perspective so just come over in a spring or summer over there you can see the sunlight on the trees and here we are all already in the shade because sun is hidden uh, uh, on the cliff behind the cliff that means we got to be in a little rush if we don't want it to get cold and to get a, a dark world that's the waterfall the lake that created by waterfall so we need to get down here on the right then we will cross the bridge over there and keep on walking like on a canyon i think there are about 10 of them so if you have time if you're interested in adventures like this then sochi is a nice place for you dangerous and of course it's better not to step away from the roof from from a path because wild animals there's not many of them but still they know they get his, the people is walking here so they're not trying to get on the way in summer period this cafe is working you can buy some shashliki and now evelina find a mirror and now she's making an interesting photo wow oh my god hello go to russia And the last stop on the route is uh, you'll see it on the right side from the road if you're walking again if you're coming downstairs up to the hill then it will be the first place for you it will be on the left for us we're heading down and I recommend you to do so it's on the right there are a lot of people will be so and basically from the road there will be a, a stones available again step on and take a look there will be a few interesting views <laughs> now I'm saying goodbye go to Russia love you thank you for supporting and see you soon bye bye